I've done wedding photography for over 17 years and I've even lost count of how many I've done but I'm sure it's over a thousand in total. And in my experience as a photographer, the makeup stroke hair person or people are the key elements in keeping the wedding running on time and making sure that the bride doesn't lose out on photographs or anything else. I love Indian weddings because of the colour, the vibrance and the food of course as well. I look at their rituals, there's meaning, there's a lot of spiritual meaning which I believe in myself in that and it's just always so special. Okay, I enjoy Muslim weddings because there it's different from the Hindu weddings. You get a bride wearing a wedding gown which makes it different and also they're simpler weddings compared to the others. Uh, the Tamil weddings are more colourful, bright, um, very vibrant with the flowers in their hair. The ceremonies are a lot shorter, which is also a bonus as well, it just gives one extra photographic time. But then the Hindi weddings, I like veils. I've got a thing about them and those, the Gujaratis, the Hindis and the Vedics wear a veil, which I enjoy working with. One can do a lot with it photographically and produce awesome results. Well, with Hindu weddings in particular, the Pandit or the Guru has set a time by which you should get married by. It's to do with astrology and it's an auspicious time that suits you, your soul and your karma. And not sticking to that time or not reaching that time can upset that karmic balance that the Guru has put down for you. And with the makeup artist hairstylist being on time, you'll have time for your photographs, which cost a lot of money. Photography is expensive. And whereas if they delay, they arrive late or take their time or can't get their act together, then it does spoil the photographs. Basically, light and time equals photography. So if you're running late, you're losing light as you go. And makeup being photographed at its best is in natural light. I believe it's the bridal styler's responsibility to keep to time. Because if you lose time with them, then it can run the wedding late. Time is money. So wasting my time as photographer is wasting the bride's money. Because at the end of the day, she doesn't get the required amount of photographs because now we've run short of time. She doesn't get those photographs that she otherwise would have got had everything gone according to time. Importantly, you need to meet your service providers, look at their work, be it a photographer you, that you can see online, but it's also imperative to meet the person and see whether you can gel with their personality. Makeup artists, hairstylists, the same. Importantly, you need to go for a trial. In that trial is when you're going to realize if you gel with that person on a personal level and whether you like the end result. Photographs aren't cheap, they're expensive, and that is the one thing that is going to last not a lifetime, but generations to come. Um, it's all about bringing out the diva in you, making you feel special and important because it is the most special and important day of your life. My responsibility as a makeup artist first and foremost is to ensure punctuality. If my brides get to me on time, then I will ensure that they leave on time. You know, it's, it's so important that the bride gets to her function uh, timelessly. She's already so flustered and she's already so nervous. Makeup has to be applied flawlessly. It has to be even toned, okay? Um, as well as the fact that it has to capture beautifully on camera. Uh, when a photographer is capturing a person on camera, 
the colors are important the skin tone is important the foundation color is important and that is why I actually do and I strongly recommend airbrush makeup um, airbrush makeup is actually makeup that is sprayed onto the skin uh, manipulated by distance and control so what you're actually getting is we are able to do your shading highlighting get you even toned and one color which is also very important you don't want to end up looking um, different colors all over and, and uh, getting this really patchy look on your face my clients come in and meet with me prior to their big day um, it's difficult for a bride to just walk in and say okay I'm so and so and this is what I would like yes I can give that to you uh, as a makeup artist we've got to think uh, quick we've got to you know give our clients exactly what they're looking for as well as give them our advice and input on what we think will look beautiful on them and what would suit them but at the end of the day it's client satisfaction you've got to be comfortable in your own skin your natural features have to be highlighted you've got to look the part that you want to to sum up, I'd just like to say that the most important point is that the service providers need to work together as a team to give the bride the best value and she has to feel happy and content that every single person that was involved in making her day special and memorable have done just that. And that is extremely important. It's not about us. It's not about the makeup artist or the photographer or the videographer but it's about the bride and it's about her happiness and contentment and ensuring that she is absolutely happy with every single thing that was provided for on that day.